Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Nick from the Foot Market. I got a video for you guys today. Some more menu content. Um, guys, before we begin this video, I put up a rant on the second channel today about this game. If you guys want to go watch that, you guys can. I'm just plugging that really quickly just in case you guys think um, that I'm some EA suck up. You guys can go watch that video. Um, anyways, let's get a po more positive mood going here today. Um, wanted to bring you guys a video uh, full on market discussion, but before we get into the video, right? I would like everybody who, because a lot of you guys, man, we have about 20,000 views on every video every day. I appreciate every, that's a lot of people, man. 20,000 people every day on a video. To the guys that watch the videos, to the guys that are watching my video right now, it is a Sunday. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. I would like you to tell me right now in response, I'm gonna ask you a question. When you go on FIFA, and I wanna look through the comment section, what do you do when you go on FIFA? When you guys play FIFA Ultimate Team, when you log on every single day, what do you do on FIFA? How many hours a day do you spend on FIFA? And what are you doing? One of the biggest parts of my rant today on my second channel was the lack of a, com a casual mode. That, that the game is only competitive right now and that when you're on, people are unlocking SBC players and trading for nothing. Nobody, we're not, nobody's playing the game because nobody wants to play the competitive side of the game. So just let me know. I want to hear from you guys um, in the comments. What do you actually do when you guys log on to FIFA? Um, I would like to hear that from you guys. Anyways. Um, been trading a lot recently, guys. Been doing really well. Um, up about 4 million transfer profit in the last few days. Got back on the trading grind. I told you guys I was going to get there. Um, I was going to look at the prime icon moments with you guys today, but I don't want to even talk about them because... Oh, by the way, uh, so we got the Lukaku jersey on the wall. I told you guys we got the signed Lukaku jersey, and I was getting it framed for the last month. So we have it on a wall, and then that we're looking for the... I'm looking to get the bottom... Uh, for me, for you guys, that's what the bottom right corner when you look at the screen. I'm trying, I'm working on trying to get a Sun jersey for the backdrop. I think that would be sick. A Sonaldo jersey as well. So I'm working on that. Uh, just that was a little flex, but I want to keep you guys updated. Um, all right, so let's talk about these cards on the market real quick. So I had bought this card. I couldn't sell it. So I took a loss. I bought it at 184. I played with it because I wanted to try this new card. I had to sell it for 1.8. So I took an 140,000 coin loss. And then Ruud van Nistelrooy, I lost 70,000 coins on. I could not sell him uh, over 2 million coins. And as you see here, he doesn't sell over 2 mil. Um, guys, be very careful. I'm giving you guys the warning. If you are trading with these cards, um, please be very careful. You need to be careful if you are trading with these cards because they really struggle to sell. I'm giving you guys the, the heads up there. They are not easy to sell. The cards are almost impossible to sell. I really struggle to sell these cards. So just make sure you guys are being careful. If you are trading with any of the Optimus Primes, they really, really are hard to sell. So you guys got to get a big undercut, man, if you do pick up one of these cards. And Footbin in the market deceives you guys because this guy went down to, you know, 2.4 and it looked good. He's gone down to 2.2. The only way these guys sell and to get a true true value of a selling price is when they're listed for open bid. That's the only really good way um, to try to see what these cards are selling at because a lot of these cards will sit up on the market and they just don't sell at all. So try to be careful if you guys are trading with these cards. I'm kind of recommending it against it because I'm just not a huge fan of them to start with. I think they're all overpriced. I tried some of them. I bought a Sancho for my team at 920. He's actually he's actually class. I actually really like him. Um, just give you guys the heads up there. If anybody's asking, I've been trying Jaden Sancho. I really do like him. Um, I think he's a beast. Um, these future star cards, there's going to be a little bit of week and sell off, but I wanted to talk to you guys today and tell you guys that I feel like um, I feel like Saturday nights are the new Sundays. Last year, the big sell-offs used to be on Sundays. And now if you guys go look at, at cards and things like that, it really appears that cards are cheapest on Saturday nights. Um, there's a little bit of a sell-off on Sundays, but for the most part, when I've been looking at cards and trying to trade with cards, um, it appears that on Sunday nights, or Saturday nights, sorry, um, cards are a lot lower from what I can see, guys. It, it seems like it's a better time um, to buy into cards because, and it makes sense too, right? Like you would, you would assume that more people are on FIFA on Sunday. So for me, it actually makes sense. Like it, it is something that does, I can make sense of. So I'm going to try to pick up this guy right here. I, I, I missed one at what? 122 earlier. Um, I'm gonna try to sell him at like 135. I'm on a sign on a lot of different cards, but I'm not that like deep on a sign. I'm not investing. I'm just trading with ones to watch right now. A lot of them are playing. A lot of them are not playing. So I'm kind of rotating in and out of those guys playing and, and, and kind of like a little bit of that, guys. You guys know how we do it. So we're doing that right now. We're doing a little bit of trading with those. Wow, Millie Tao is 305. 305 for Millie Tao. I'm going to see if I can try to snipe this guy. This guy's been like 300 plus. These sell-offs on some of these future stars, they come in waves, bro. Like some hours, these cards will be really low. And then the next hour, they'll be really high. I'm going to sit here and try to get a snipe on Millie Tao. You guys have been telling me you guys have been loving the trading recently on the channel because we've been doing a little bit more live trading in these videos. Um, thank you to the guys that are, that are supporting and enjoying it, man. That's awesome. I'm really trying to. I'm trying to hardcore push right now at 100 million uh, transfer profit. So, your boy is uh, is grinding his butt off for that. We're doing a lot of trading recently, and I'm trying to get my coins up. 
uh, because I just was told and I just remembered that team of the season is in two months and I need to get coins ASAP Rocky. So that's another thing, gentlemen. Uh, that's another thing that we're going for. So we got to get coins ASAP because I need to bring team of the season content for you guys. Um, market though this week, I mean, I do think the market's going to be a little bit lower. I think a lot of people are broke right now. So I would say if you guys are trading, um, try to trade with newer cards. And the reason for that is that newer cards or, or more in demand cards, like the old team of the weeks are starting to get old. Um, so I would try to kind of like not try to trade with those cards because I feel like a lot of people are just kind of over the old team of the weeks. You can, you can tell even on flipping days, which are Thursdays that that those specific team of the weeks are going a lot lower than they used to. Um, which means that the demand for those cards is just a lot damn less. Um, it's just the trend on the market that you can actually see. Uh, these cards have been great for trading. These, uh, future star cards have been really, really good. Um, Team of the years have obviously exploded. A lot of people are asking me, um, a lot of people have been asking me recently, hey, Nick, um, are you going to invest in gold? I'm not going to, man. I don't think golds are going to go up a lot, guys watching this video. I think golds are going to drop a lot more before they go up. The reason for that is we just had a lot of SPCs, and I think that I don't think any of these icon SPCs guys are going to are gonna jump the price of gold. I think they're too expensive. Based on how Van Nistelrooy just came out at 2 million coins, Everybody is so broke right now. Nobody's going to be doing these SPCs. Like, no one, guys. This this gives you relativity to what the potential other SPCs could be, which means that, like, Hullet can be, like, 2 mil, uh, like, 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 8 mil. Those cards are going to be way too expensive SPC-wise, and I don't think it's going to jump the gun on a lot of the golds. And a lot of people are, like, asking me right now, yo, are you going to buy golds? And I'm not going to because I think they're going to be lower. The one reason why golds got so high, guys, was because of the base icon SPC, right? I don't think that's happening. Like, we're not going to get into their base icon SBC. So, for me, the golds just have zero reason to actually go up. Um, because unless you get an ultra in-demand SBC like that, I, can't, I just can't really see it, guys. So, if you can steer clear of the golds, I would try to because I just feel like right now I'm not loving it. I don't think they're going to go up a ton. Um, today should be rest of the world upgrades. I'm recording that before that. That's not that relevant. Um, I think you're going to get like a, I think like Zayich is going to get one. The Lick is going to get one. So some of those guys are going to get upgrades, but for me, it's not that relevant um, at all. I don't really think it's that relevant. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's going to be going on today. Those cards are going to get upgraded. I'm assuming when they do get upgraded, they're going to get flooded on the market is what I'm assuming, guys. I think they're going to get flooded. Um, who really knows? But I'm, I'm thinking that when they do get upgraded, these cards are going to probably drop on the market. I've been trying to pick up a ones to watch Ronaldo. I'm trying to get him because I think he's going to go to five mil out of, or, sorry, four mil out of packs pretty quick, but... I haven't I have not looked at him yet. He's got a bunch on the market at what three four four. If he goes into the three threes, I'd probably look three four two nine. Ooh, three point four, that's pretty low. It's pretty low, pretty low, pretty low. I haven't seen him sell though. That's the thing with this card. Like I've I've been interested in the card, but I have not seen him sell much. So I'm not I don't know what to think, man. He's been going down a little bit, but honestly, the SBC didn't even drop him that much. Um at all. The SBC really didn't even move him that much. So I've been looking at that, but I don't even think anyone's packed them, dude. Tradable? Packing this card tradable? You gotta be one crazy dude to be just spamming those packs and packing this guy tradable. It's kind of crazy. Um, are there any fresh ones in the market? Wow, that one's fresh. That one's not fresh. So I'm sure I'm sure like 10 people have packed a tradable. I've seen a lot of untradable Ronaldos. That I have definitely seen. Um, no, but yeah, bros, the market today is up. Like I'll tell you that much. From looking at the market last night compared to the day, the market is definitely higher than it was last night. Um, I, cause I bought some cards and I had flipped them overnight. Royce was one of them. I bought Royce last night. Royce is 87. No, it's 89 now, which is his bottom inform. Uh, was really low last night. It was like 300. So I just, I bought a few man and I tried to sell them and I sold them all at like 340 today. So I actually listed one too low. I listed at 333 overnight. I should have listed it higher, but yeah, I mean, those were great, 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 great overnight flips. Those worked really well. Um, obviously we have a break in the champions league action, but champions league cards have gone up a lot. Um, like Griezmann rebounded uh, an insane amount. I saw the price of Griezmann and I was like, wow, they uh, they rebounded really nicely from after the games. And some of them got pretty good upgrades. So some of them heading into the next game are going to be pretty good. I think Aurier is going to be a really good one. I'm, I'm pretty pretty big on Aurier, guys. I think Aurier is going to be um, Aurier. Spurs are got a three goal margin. They got to really choke that to lose that. If they get an away goal, they're going to be set. Um, they should already be set. But Aurier with like one more upgrade is going to be a big deal. Um, that's an 88 rated right back, probably 86 pace, probably 86. It's going to be a really damn good card. He's also high, high, which as a right back is a perfect, 
um, combination of work rates. So that's like everything you want. And a right back, that is almost everything you want to see. Um, so Aurier has a lot going for him in the future. And I'm a big fan of what that card could potentially be. Uh, last team of the week investments did really well, except Sterling. And that's because he got resupplied on the market. So Sterling supply is just kind of screwed up. There's like too many of him on the market is what I'm thinking. And that's probably why he didn't go up. But the rest of the team really went up a lot. I made a lot of money on Hamas. Casemiro was obviously a really big money maker. Casemiro is going to go to 200K at this rate. Um, he's already 170,000 coins. He's going really high. Casemiro was the one last week. Laporte is 59, which is good. I'm kind of waiting on a big SPC with that Laporte. I mean, at this point, like we haven't really gotten it yet. So I'm just kind of waiting it out on a big SPC for that Laporte. I think that's the move. Um, I don't think that, well, let me put it this way. I don't even think there's that much else I can do. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, let me take a quick little look at these UCL lives. I mean, Nacho Fernandez, this card was down the la, last night. I saw this card at 162K. I hope he's not, yeah, he's still that price. He's still 164K, which is just really low, man. But it is what it is. These cards have been low. Phillips been really low. The Dortmund guy has been really low. I've been trading with him recently. He has been very low. That card on the market has been way too cheap, in my opinion. Uh, we'll take a look at this Lingard because Lingard has been specifically low today. It's not on the market. I thought that was going to be on the market. So, I mean, I think that these cards are going to continue to rise. There's no reason they wouldn't. Uh, people care about them a lot and they're hyped up cards, man. I think they are going to continue to rise. Um, I don't think I don't see a reason for these not to, even though we're on a little bit of a break from the champs. All that it is is that this week we don't have Champions League. Um, after that, we, we're back on with Champions League. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, that's probably what I would argue with you guys. I'm going to take a look at this Parasitch right now. This Parasitch was what price? He's 254 right now. He's been like 270. It's pretty low. He's been 272, 266 yesterday, 295. All right, we're going to get a bid on here. We're going to bid with that one. And we're going to bid this one because that looks like a good deal. I'll take the 251. Hopefully we can win the bid because this guy's been 280. So I'm going to try to get that for a deal. We'll stock that in the club and we'll flip it in another hour. But that card looks good. I was talking about it the other day. I wanted to actually get a Parasitch for my club. Parasitch, Parasitch. The reason why I wanted to get one, guys, is because he is gonna he's one upgrade away from just being the absolute most meta left wing in this game. Because he's gonna have 90 pace, 85 shooting. He's six foot one with five star weak foot. And look at the jumping he's got. 87 jumping, bros. So I'm I'm saying that he is like one upgrade away from just being an insane card. Um so I'm really excited to see with the, the progression of Perisic uh for the rest of this year and see um 254 now. Yeah, man. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. I appreciate everybody supporting the videos. Um, that's going to be the market update for today. Uh, I may have another video for you guys tonight. I will let you guys know. We'll definitely be streaming this afternoon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.